Welcome to the first of many CES videos to come. This is NVIDIA's RTX 2060, which is definitely making rounds out there on the internet, coming with a price tag of $349 US. However, what makes this a special release compared to the other RTX cards? Because we know that the RTX 2080 Ti came out with that high price tag. The RTX 2080, when it was first released, was kind of not really offering a whole lot more than the 1080 Ti. And then we had the 2070, which I thought was the better of the value propositions coming out of the RTX models. But now we have what looks like finally a very solid value for money choice for gamers either at 1080p or 1440p. So spec wise, this graphics card has 1920 CUDA cores. It also has a stock boost clock of 1680 megahertz, but some people have already reviewed it and they're saying that's easily overclockable to get a 2000 megahertz stable boost clock. And at these levels, it is pretty much beating out a 1070 Ti as well as offering those RTX features and DLSS support. Another really cool thing about it is that they've enabled now with the RTX 2060 at least, is the ability to support free sync monitors. So if you got those budget choices, at least compared to the G-Sync monitors, you should now hopefully be able to use your graphics card with adaptive sync on that particular monitor. But with all that aside, let's take a look at how I think the RTX 2060 is definitely going to shake up the market. Welcome back to Tech Yes City. So late last night, Nvidia had the press conference where they announced not only the 2060, but also RTX graphics cards in laptops with their Max-Q design, uh, then most notably being the RTX 2080 in a really small form factor. We'll be covering that in some later videos with the board partners specifically. What we're looking at now is really the 2060, which stole the show from Nvidia, and that is at its price point, it is offering some really compelling value for money, at least for people who want that higher end type of performance, but don't wanna break the bank a whole lot. So looking through some of the benchmarks out there already, PC Gamer did a really good article where they tested 17 games and gave out an average. And we see the 2060 is pulling well ahead of the 1070, which once it's released into the market is pretty much gonna make the 1070, at least from a price performance standpoint on new parts, pretty much irrelevant. The 1070 Ti is also pretty much neck and neck with the 2060 and since it does have those new features available will be more power efficient it's definitely looking like the 2060 will indeed replace the 1070 ti as well and when you overclock it it is good to see that those numbers are getting a pretty sizable boost over that of the 1082 even going neck and neck with that once you overclock it so this is definitely a powerful card certainly a lot more powerful than what we're used to seeing out of the 60 series branded gpus from nvidia but also with this card too they've put gdr6 on board as well as using that over a 192 wide bit bus but also on top of that with the founders edition card specifically it's good to see that they've included a back plate and it does look as stylish as the big brother counterparts too now on top of that, some of probably the most exciting news, at least for me personally, was now the support where Nvidia is going to, at a driver level, to now support essentially free sync monitors. So if you've got one of those monitors that's 100 hertz refresh, 1440p ultra wide, and it only has free sync support, then now their RTX cards will be able to be utilized with that adaptive sync technology. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how this plays out in the real world. However, one thing to keep in mind is in the notes themselves that not every single monitor will be supported specifically. It does depend on the particular brand and also make of that FreeSync model and its support through the DisplayPort connectivity. So something things up with the 2060, it's definitely looking like it's the best value for money solution from the 2000 series cards. It's also got that FreeSync support now, as well as having those features like DLSS support and ray tracing with five gig arrays versus the 2070, for example, which has six gig arrays. So you'll be able to utilize that since it is finally coming into games, as opposed to when the 2080 and 2080 Ti were launched. There was a big thing about these technologies not being supported in games yet. So it looks like this card is not only a sweet spot in terms of price performance, but also in the time that it's being released to the market with those supported technologies. But also closing out, what about the RTX 2050, which a lot of people have eyes on as well. I have heard some rumors that is definitely ready to go too. And the specs on that looks like it will be even better value for money than the 2060. So you have to stay tuned for that. I'm not sure when they're gonna release that, but I do know it's in the works. As opposed to the 2060 and getting a review out on the channel, I'll look after you guys when I get back to Australia. I'll be giving you a full in-depth review of this graphics card. So make sure you stay tuned. 
And if you enjoyed today's video, then be sure to hit that like button and let us know in the comment section below what you think of the 2060. Is it the card you've been waiting for? I'll also have some Ryzen 3000 series coverage. Whatever news I get on that, I'll be reporting to you. So make sure you stay subscribed and I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.